ça, je sais, tu peux pas sauter. Oh, oh viens. When I look at myself and my friends, et bien entendu, je veux compte parmi ceux de qui je parle. I see in them something that we share. A desire to create something physical and lasting while on earth. Something that touches people, their hearts and their minds. <laughs> the one thing that holds most everyone back is fear. The idea that they're not yet good enough that the world will not be kind if they falter and they will not be strong enough to pick themselves up if they fall. <laughs> Come on, Scorpio queen. Okay. I want you to know something that took me a long time to understand, but I understand now. Our job on earth as humans and as artists isn't to make the best work or the most inventive piece of art or the most unique. Our sole job is to just move the energy forward. That's it. Just keep going. Just keep moving the energy forward. But... <laughs> We cannot do that if we keep our art and our dreams hidden away in the bottom of our desk, waiting for it to be the perfect or the right time. Tomorrow isn't promised. Demain n'est pas promise. So if not now, when? And if not you, then who? I mean, I don't know what your dreams are. But just like me, you could move to Paris, you could share a song, you could create and write a book. And it might be bad what you make, but at least it's something which is always better than nothing at all, you know? Hello, <laughs> I'm Shayna, aka The Purple Palace. And welcome to my November Hello, my vlog. darlings. Welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful fall day. And I'm trying to get back into the habit of vlogging because I feel like life is becoming very, very exciting. Yeah, I'm going to my studio to work on a painting that I really messed up last night. Um, I've been loving going to my studio and working um, on my synth, working on new songs. Also, if you guys didn't see, I released my first ever single. So thank you for all of the love on that. Truly, <laughs> it just makes me so happy. And also, like, I'm so proud of myself. So, you know, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, so yeah, uh, last night I, I started putting the silicone letters on a painting. So basically, I'm using silicone on the painting because it makes it look like a cake. But I cut the um, the hole of the silicone too large, and so when it started coming out, it like exploded. So basically, the good thing is normally silicone scrapes off very quickly and easily. Um, so I'm gonna work on that today. So last night I was working in my studio and dancing. I just love putting on like my speakers, dancing, um, working on stuff. But um, there are like some other artists there and these guys who have like um, a, pro a musical project around like techno and stuff, they had like this random soiree and that was really fun. Yeah, anyway, I thought that I'd start vlogging a little bit. I've been doing a lot of sit down videos lately, which I love, but I mean, it's fall in Paris, you know? Also, I booked a little trip to the beach, a little weekend trip. Um, to celebrate all of the projects I've been releasing. I think it's really important and I don't know if you guys feel this as well when you live in a big city to take moments to to yeah, de se reposer and je pense que la vie c'est vraiment trouver un équilibre entre le travail et ça c'est vraiment quelque chose que j'ai appris um, en France aussi so yeah 
I'm excited for that as well. I also thought that I would share a little affirmation with you guys on our walk to the studio, which is so picturesque. Ah! Okay, this is a very simple one, but efficace. And it's, I am confident in my worthiness. Never forget that you are so worthy of love, of following your dreams, and you don't have anything to prove to anyone. Just know that like you can come to interactions and treat it as if life is like a fun game, you know? And I believe in you, so anyway. halfway there I'm also you know since it's getting near the end of the year I'm starting to feel like very nostalgic and just proud about all of the projects and goals I set for myself back in January that have are st like sort of finally starting to come together and I think so often we're taught to focus on all of our failures and downfalls um, but one thing that I love to do whenever I have like a gathering with friends is I always ask everyone to go around and talk about the thing like they're so proud of themselves for doing this year or like what's bringing in or, <laughs> or like what's bringing them the most joy <laughs> these kids are playing I love it um, <laughs> dead oh my god um, I feel like I love to do these energy circles with my friends and we'll all hold hands and like think of like one thing we're looking forward to for the end of the year or like one thing that we're proud of for doing and I think like just really focusing on how far you've come even if it's the smallest thing it's still a win like I love writing lists of like my wins this year like ways that I've pushed myself and yeah I think the more that you follow what brings you joy, the more like, and I've talked about this, like you're, you're connected to like godlike energy, even like fun ideas around your projects. Like how can you make whatever you're working on now even more fun? Yeah, I've just been thinking about how I'm going to become French soon and how like all those years ago when I first came to Paris that I couldn't speak a word of French. And now like the life that I have here, which is like my dream life, I don't know. I just want to say that like you can change your life at any time and I know a lot of you guys watching dream of moving abroad or being an artist and I want you to know that like if you have the desire in your heart it's for a reason and you could move to Paris like you could be an artist and society always wants to tell you like the reasons why things aren't going to work out. But I think that the number one thing that people who succeed have in common is that they believe in themselves no matter what. And that's why like, you know, a lot of times people who are like bad people succeed and everyone's like, well, why do they succeed? Like why are good things happening to bad people? But at the end of the day, those people probably have like a really big ego and believe in themselves, you know? So it's not so much about talent. I mean, I think that plays a part of it, but believing in yourself. Look in the mirror and say, I fucking believe in you, baby, you know? Okay. Pulling up to my studio. I'll see you guys in a minute. Throwing hands cause she drank your Bacardi I know it's kinda dumb But I miss the way you dressed all punk With the black and the studs and the ripped up gloves Bet she loved your tough guy from So take your orchids I'll swear I'll swear I loved you to death But now I don't really care Cause you're running around over there 
My studio is kind of in shambles right now. <laughs> I swear it's not always like this, but um, yeah, it just is right now. <laughs> this is my little workstation. I come here and do like my synth stuff. And let us inspect the damage of the painting that I fucked up yesterday. So lighting in here isn't great because it's kind of late, but basically I like the background color that I did and then it's supposed to say vulnerability is my superpower and I like outlined it in black and white but then when I went to fill in <laughs> it actually kind of looks pretty on this side but then I messed up and like I already started to scrape it off so I think I just need to make it less thick but when it's done it's gonna look really pretty I think I just need to be more careful <laughs> when I'm putting it on actually do you guys want some condiment to gossip um <laughs> So the lady that li that doesn't live, she works on this side. She has like a kitchen and stuff. And last time I saw her, she was like a little worried because she has like a surveillance video. And the surveillance video only comes on at night if there is some sort of like movement. And I guess she recorded something that looked like a ghost. Like I don't really believe, I mean I guess I do believe in like paranormal stuff, but I've never personally experienced it. But it honestly it looked like a silhouette passing by and they think, like everyone's theory, is that it's somebody that was like locked downstairs. And I don't know if I've talked about this that much, but there definitely is like a sort of, like it's a very peaceful energy at the convent. But just by like the nature of how long it's been around and also, you know, I think that maybe there were some like darker things. Like there's definitely some like darker sad undertones mixed with like a lot of good energy. So I don't know. I'm not personally afraid because like if a bitch, if a ghost wants to come for me, like I have like so many angels protecting me and my angels would be like, Protonus! Wait, Protonus? Patronus! My angels would be like, Patronus! It would be like a butterfly that would like attack any demons that tried to get me, you know? Anyway. I was going for like an all red, all red situation today. So let's talk about some stuff. I was talking about with one of my friends the other night about like feeling like um so she was telling me that like she was hanging out with like a group of friends she was had been like away for a while and when she went back home uh she felt like her friends weren't really asking her about her life and things like that and um and I always feel like oftentimes we feel the need to, when we're hanging out with somebody, to like fill in the spaces um, and not, not let there be any awkward pauses, but actually like truly being comfortable with somebody is letting there be awkward spaces and it's not always your responsibility to say everything. I, I guess I'm talking about this with you guys because I often feel like when I'm filming myself like this, obviously, like, since you're not really able to talk back at me, that I should just, like, say something right away, but I don't have to do that either. Like, I can just chill. And, um, another thing that I was telling her is, like, if you feel like people aren't paying attention to what you're saying, I think, naturally, our reaction is to, like, try to assert ourselves more, but in reality, it's better to pull back because by continuing to speak when someone's not paying attention to what you're saying you're essentially devaluing what you're saying so yeah anyway <laughs> anyway dude this is not this is a fucking nightmare i should have really thought about this <laughs> whoever ends up buying this painting just know how much effort i put into it <laughs> but anyway i love life I really truly do and it looks like I'm not gonna have to move after all I was telling you guys in my last video that um like I was gonna move because I just couldn't handle the fact that like my toilets were in the hallway and like some 
drug addict was like squatting in the building and using them and leaving it like really really nasty not just like just like in general but the landlady is gonna put a key on the door so that's really good <laughs> yes because the thing is is i could move but i don't want to move until like i don't have this studio anymore because i literally can walk here you know and i actually like my little apartment and i know like not everybody likes to live in small spaces but essentially like having this space plus that space just gives me so much freedom yeah <sighs> also i'm just so excited about like your guys's reaction to my music video um and when, one of the big things that i've learned this year is like when you release something stand by that thing and don't stop talking about it like there's this really great tyler the creator quote and he says like you know people always want to put out work but then they're like almost ashamed to keep pushing it but like if i put the time and effort to create something especially like for example my journal which i think is a beautiful journal and like really is a helpful like tool for people like i'm just going to keep talking about it and being proud of what i've done and i think that's a lesson for any of you guys creating anything like if you're having fun like talking about your thing and like promoting it and just keep doing it because you know it's really rare to actually create something and finish the project until the end so if you have done that like be proud of it you know so yeah i'm really proud of it especially you know like the music video as well like all the work that we put in to collaborate for that was just a lot like the artist was amazing nico who did that with me and I'm gonna put out the next songs very soon and I'm already working on like my next musical projects which are gonna be like solo projects and my goal is just to become like a really good producer and be able to like make my music sound as close to possible to what I want it to sound like so yeah and just really focusing on my art lately not dating like not pff, fuck that shit I on <laughs> I honestly feel like one day I'm just gonna meet somebody like randomly on the street like a shooting star <laughs> How are you guys? Tell me about your life. Tell me one good thing that's happened to you this week One thing you're excited about. Okay, I'm going to turn this off and try to do this like because I can't do both at the same time um, but Let me just like hold it up for you like this when it's done. Oh shit it was glue on the when it's done it's gonna look so pretty i'm so excited all right i was able to scrape off most of it off these other letters so i just had to make sure that when i redo it i'm really careful because ah! that took me like 30 minutes just to scrape everything off look at the moon few days later and I received my sculptures back from an art show that I did because I got all of my stuff back I just spent the morning like rearranging everything and I feel like my studio right now is such good vibes I feel like it's so important to feel good and the space that you're in and to just feel especially like in a creative space where you need to be making things um say so yeah, i spent the morning doing that i had coffee with my friend tonight i'm going to one of my favorite restaurants um it's a vegan uh, restaurant called jaja de tricycle 
and I'm gonna go with a friend that uh, I met at the last art show I did. She's really cool. And we like immediately hit it off because she's really into like getting dressed up and having fun with like fashion and we both decided that we were gonna like um, pick like a theme and just like go all out. So I think that's gonna be really fun. Um, today, let me show you what I'm working on. I'm very excited because I'm almost done with this painting. Um, I really had a lot of trouble with the letters. It's my first time ever doing letters in silicone, but I think it gives it like a very like handmade vibe, like your best friend that <laughs> made you a birthday cake, which I love. And I think the background colors look really pretty. I'm gonna do another coating of resin today, some glitter, and then I'm going to work on some music, which I'm very excited about. And yeah, donc en fait, so I'll show you guys like how I arranged <laughs> everything. So I tried to this time around like leave some space up there so I can like get up and sit. I love like getting up there and sitting. Um, let me show you from farther away. So yeah, like you can literally like get up there and sit. And now I have like a microphone. I don't care. I got this amp because my other one I blew out on accident after like a month because I got excited when I got my microphone and I plugged my mic into my amp and you really shouldn't do that. <laughs> I blew out my other amp and so I got this one, which is like a lot cleaner sounding. It doesn't have as many effects, but yeah. So I'm waiting for the paint to dry on this and we'll do the last coating of resin and that way tomorrow I'll do photos of it I love when I have a piece like this doing photos because it just always looks so fucking cool on my feed. <laughs> I mean, you gotta respect the Instagram game, you know? Also, oh my god, this morning, this guy had a ferret and I'd never seen a ferret in real life before and it was like so sweet. It made me want a ferret. Yeah, I'm gonna work on this and then I'm going to go home, change clothes, and um, meet my friends, even though today, in Paris, it's the Greve, and basically when there's a strike, the metros come, but just not as often, and it's just like a headache, so hopefully we don't get caught up in all that, but yeah. can't say that I'm surprised you had those snake-like narcissist eyes, but it hurts all the same. because like a year ago this is the music the type of music i wanted to make but i wasn't there yet like technically to be able to do it and now i'm finally able to produce my own songs because of this synth like this synth in particular which is an analog synth like i don't do anything with like midi everything is like a live instrument with this thing and like layers and it just like makes me so freaking happy and i don't know I just want to say, like, if you guys are starting something and you feel discouraged at first, it's true that with time, if you put time in, you will see improvement. And how beautiful to be able to look back and see, like, where I was. Hi, it's editing Shayna. Unfortunately, my camera totally died when I was, like, finishing this phrase. But basically, all that to say that no matter what sort of dream you have or whatever you're working towards, you're gonna be the same age in like five years that you would be if you don't start today. So just get started and create like a little routine for yourself that's fun. Like I honestly, like if I didn't enjoy the process of doing all these things, then I wouldn't do it because like most of your life is going to be made up of the process. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. It was definitely like a mis mishmash of November, I'm currently in an Airbnb in Normandy. Next week I'll have a vlog coming out of like the beach and also talking about some more just like 
very useful things that I think that I've learned and just like lessons. I'm really big into like podcasts um, and also just like self-help. And so whenever I read something interesting, I always write it down and think to share with you guys because I really see you guys as friends or if you're younger than me, like a big sister or whatever. Um, do you guys wanna see out the window? Let me see if it'll capture. Oh my gosh, I, I always feel weird when I'm like, I've already moved on to, I always feel weird when I've like already moved on to another vlog, but I'm like, it's always like I'm sort of like um, melting the, the past and the future together. You guys shouldn't be seeing this yet. But do you guys hear the beach? Do you hear? Anyway, the beach is out here. Ah, oh, I love the air, the beach air. Just, it's, it's so nice. It reminds me of when I was younger, I grew up in Florida. Um, we would always, like me and my friends on the weekends, we were like 16 and we could drive, like we would go to the beach and just like lay on the beach at night and listen to music and in, it's just, I don't know, sometimes you have like memories like that from childhood or when you're a teenager and they just stick with you and the beach has always like had this, maybe it's because I'm an Aquarius as well, but it's always had that like very powerful feeling to me. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next vlog. It's gonna be really, really fun. I've had a lot of fun while I've been here on a solo trip, which I love to do. Um, but also not really solo because you guys are like sort of here with me. So if you enjoyed this vlog, you can subscribe. Um, I put out videos out usually every Tuesday. Um, I do, for all you guys who are new, I do um, art stuff, but also like self-help and things about Paris, living abroad, just like a sort of mishmash of my life. Um, so you can subscribe. I also have a Patreon if you guys want to have extra content, like podcast episodes. We also do meetups in Paris. We had like a really fun Halloween meetup. Um, <laughs> and... If not, it's just like a great way to support what I'm doing. If you appreciate the work that I do and you want me to continue to make videos. Um, we also have Zoom parties. And if not, I have two books out. So if you want to support what I'm doing and have like a physical object, it's a really great way to do so. And I think especially the journal can be really helpful to you. And lastly, I have a song out. So please go listen to it if you haven't yet. Um, it's literally four minutes long. So just like give it a listen and let me know what you think and if you made it to the end leave me a comment with your favorite part of the vlog i've been really interested lately in seeing what you guys like um so anyway i love you and i will see you next time i'm sending you a big hug for your week ahead bye